Today is a monumental day for the future of Rostislav Nashirov and the Columbus Blue Jackets. Every NHL season, there's a big day that comes up called the NHL trade deadline, where players are moved at the very last second, and it is just chaos. At any moment, your favorite superstar can move from your favorite team to somewhere across the country. Now, the reason the trade deadline is so scary this year in particular is because where we are currently in the standings. As you can see in the Metro, the Columbus Blue Jackets sitting with 50 points, a 21, 17, and 8 record. Not bad, but we're just barely holding on. Moving over to the Eastern Conference, that puts us in eighth place. So literally the last wildcard spot. Will we be going all in trying to pick up all the pieces that we can to make a push for the playoffs? Or will we end up selling away all of our assets to pick up as many draft picks as possible? Last year, we were in this exact same situation and we were even in a wildcard spot, but our GM still threw everything out the window. Here are the current point leaders for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Johnny Hockey leading the charge with 59 points followed by Kent Johnson, Marchenko and there is Rostislav Nashirov. Okay, I'm realizing the trade deadline in real life is definitely on the Friday the 8th. I don't know why it's the 9th in the game, but you guys get the drill. Alright, we're simming to the 9th. We're seeing what goes down. We'll see what the roster looks like after. So here we go. Wish me luck. Our sim will begin now. Alright, we need an absolute miracle to keep this season on track. I know we have our wild card spot, but that could go away in a matter of two games okay we just took three losses in a row we did get a win now we're at the all-star break unfortunately there is no all-star break in the game and we just took another l sick if we can turn this around and go 500 the rest of the way i'll consider that a major success <laughs> look at johnny <laughs> want to check out venice beach with some of us dude we just lost eight of our last nine games and johnny hockey wants to go to the beach that's what is wrong with this team i'll bring the sunscreen if you're getting the sunscreen, think you can get the food too? Hot dogs it is! Let's go, baby! All right, hey, this is a team bonding moment. This is turning the tides of this season, surely. Johnny, you might not be here come trade deadline. Let's be honest, all right? Let's be honest. Okay, we got the loss because of the beach. We got the win over the Ducks, the win over the Sabres, a loss versus the Rangers, and here comes Johnny again. Great. I'm going out for coffee. Johnny, do you ever, do you ever touch the rink? ever do you think you can grab the coffee no one can spell my name yo that's actually elite. that's actually who spelled rostislav nashrov correct i can't even spell it correct yo they don't have a much easier time with johnny man i feel like johnny's a pretty easy name no win 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 oh my goodness look at the recent stretch of games our last five games all w's when we needed it most i think that is what is going to push our gm to push for the playoffs instead of tanking to end the season the trade deadline has officially passed first let's look at our standings then we'll look at our players and see who has moved where we are obviously still in the blue jackets that's good news let's see what went down interesting so we're sitting fourth in the metro with 71 points however we do not currently have the wild card spot looking at the eastern conference the red wings have it with 73 points so one win and we bump up above them to take that final wild card spot but now the moment of truth let's see what our roster looks like johnny hockey still here cue the epic music the roster comes out post trade deadline all the moves all the changes coming in three two not the most exciting trade deadline uh it appears for the columbus blue jackets as our you know top players have remained exactly the same no one has been moved yeah there's not a single new player on this team boys there is there is no one you've got to be kidding me dude what is our gm doing i'm not gonna lie boys i thought this was gonna be like some electric i thought like we'd have like Sidney crosby on a line with rusty nashrov and instead uh this is what we have <laughs> okay let's go okay hey good news is we already have you know chemistry with these boys all right i got kent johnson i got johnny hockey also i'm still on that weird camera angle i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like this but uh, i'll try it for a period see how it goes all right i think that's fair here we go boys let's get this started right away i'm gonna go up the boards i'm johnny dude we had this issue with johnny last game he he just he throws the puck away without even thinking my controller just died. I promise you, I'm, I wasn't pulling a Johnny Hockey. I tried to pass that puck six times. My controller died. What is going on here? Oh, wait. We drew a penalty during that. 
My controller was unplugged and we drew a penalty. Let's go. Cole Caulfield pulled out the rusty elbow on Rusty. You hate to see that. I mean, that's just goon-like behavior there from Cole. Another thing to consider is we are currently still on that hot streak. I know we tried to do the win streak challenge earlier in this season, and it went very, very poorly. Right now, we're on a five-game win streak. We keep this roll, and we, I mean, hey, we might hit the record. I know the Oilers right now, 13-game win streak. We shut that down easy. We'll hit 13. Get to the playoffs, secure that spot. What a move from Rusty. Nice pass there by Boone, dude. I, I gotta bury that. That's on me, boys. I gotta, we have to. What was that? I'm gonna be smart with my changes here. We'll take nice and short shifts. We don't want Coach mad at us. I wanna be playing good hockey too. I need to be energized. The other thing that we need to be on the lookout for is any weird trades that other teams may have made. Um, I don't see anyone that's looking super out of place, at least at the moment, but. I suppose we'll find out here as the game goes on. Nice save there by Elvis. I'm going to let him cover it up with that pressure. We'll be I don't know what just happened to Jake being stick in front of the net, but that did not look healthy. Okay, we'll get that puck out of the zone. I'm going to do a nice little toe drag. Nice little stride deke. And, uh... <gasps> what a... <gasps> no way he makes that save again. Something about this camera angle brings out the craziest <laughs> saves from the goalies. Oh, we got Puck Luck 13 down in the corner. Shout out to Puck Luck 13, our absolute biggest fan. Says, keep it rolling on our uh, current five game win streak. You know what, Puck Luck? I will keep it rolling. We just need a little bit of Puck Luck to make it happen. Let's go, boy. Hey, the short shifts, I'm telling you. The other lines are going to start to heat up if we're, if we're smarter with our shifts. Okay, we got Suzuki here. I'm just going to, yeah, let's chill. Stare at Rusty's beautiful visor and yellow synergy. Yep. Hey, another power play for the boys. All right. Hey, things are going well here. Things are going well. We're drawing penalties. We're getting goals. Unfortunately, the one thing that coach isn't doing is leaving me on PP1. He's getting line A out there with Johnny and Johnson. So it's basically our first line plus line A. Okay. No power play goal there, but that's fine. I'm going to set up in a 1T spot here. Yep. And fire top left. Okay. If that hits the net, that's a goal. That's just, I mean, that's just poor. Okay. You know what? I'm going to wind up the biggest slap shot that this world has ever seen. You know what? We're going to do another one. Wind up. Boom. Okay. I want to score a slap shot goal with Rusty so bad. I'm pretty sure that my slap shot is at 43. Boom! Let's go, boys! Rusty! We hit the celly! Yes, sir! After 18 episodes, we have hit the celly again. Let's go! Rusty walks in. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I tried to kind of wind up there, and then he, like, wound it up for a half second, brought it back down, and ripped the wrister. I don't really know what happened there. I'm not gonna complain. We have a two-goal lead here with the win streak on the line. Okay, we'll get that up top. I'm gonna go, go to the net first screen. Yep, perfect. Okay, we don't have the puck. I couldn't tell. I, to be fair, I couldn't tell with my camera angle. One last save by Elvis, and that has kept us alive. Oh, I didn't check our goalies. Maybe we got a new backup goaltender uh, for like a playoff push. Obviously, you want to have the two goalies to run, so we'll have to check that. And uh, no, okay, we, we did not get a new backup goaltender. It is Tarasov and Elvis. They're uh, manning down the four. Elvis has not 20 minutes of game clock play despite playing the whole. I don't know how that happened, but uh, we got those two goalies pushing us to the playoffs. We have switched up our camera angle, looking at a little little more overhead of a view. Still have it a bit lower so we can see and we get that true. Oh, I'm going, I'm going to get dangled. <laughs> okay, we can actually see what we're doing a little bit now, though, which is the good news. We got Rusty. Well, Rusty, dude, it's so nice being able to actually see. We'll drop that puck and then we're going to go to the net. <gasps> what a play, but what a save. How does he get a piece of that? Okay, again, short shifts, more shifts. We're going to dump this puck low and get off the ice. What a play for... Okay. We kind of let the puck just go right by us there at the end, but a good play nonetheless. Oh, coach, you want me to carry this team to victory yet again? I'm going to drop the gloves with somebody this shift. Dude, screw coach. I don't, I'm not scoring a goal. I'm going out there and dropping the gloves right now. Yeah, if you're going to put me on power play too, you're going to pay the price, all right? Okay, good hands by Marchenko. We're going to get into the zone. Jenner, if, if you could just skate even at 10% speed there, we get into the zone clean. I want to hit somebody to the bench. Oh, what a hit! Dude, I'm ready to drop the gloves. Who's dropping them? How is no one dropping them there? I just destroyed Monahan. I'm gonna hit. Okay, we'll hit Josh Anderson as well. Seems like they, they don't seem to really care about the big hits as much. Usually teams are dropping the gloves instantly, which is kind of what I'm... Dude, I just got turned into a Beyblade. What in the world was that, Jenner? Yep, what a pass from Jenner. Side step. Ew! 
Okay, nice, you know, nice little chip pass on the deke. I don't, I don't mind that move. I don't mind that move one bit. Okay, no energy again. If, if the, if the opportunity comes to drop the gloves, I will, but I'm not going to be a detriment to my team in the process. I, I think we have to be smart about this. Okay. I'm not even kidding. The moment that I stepped on the ice, that goal went into the back of the net. That's a minus on the score sheet for me. No doubt about it. I, I couldn't even see what the goal was. Cole Caulfield walks in, nips it top right corner over El El nips it top right corner over Elvis's glove, and we have a 2-1 hockey game. All right, time to lock in. Nothing crazy here. Yep. Boom. There's our big hit. Okay. Rusty's starting to lay, lay a couple hits out here too. Again, if somebody wants to drop the gloves, I am I am here to ring the bell. It's just we need to have somebody that's willing to do it. I'm not take a penalty in the process. Again. <gasps> Okay, try to try to. Hey, we go for the back to back big hits on their rookie. Holy, they're gonna be angry. Dude, that one is a straight. <gasps> yep, back door. Nice shot. Johnson working it to me. Nice shot on net again. We're getting a couple good opportunities and we'll get off the ice again. Short and smart. Short and smart. Whatever we do, I don't want this game to have to go to OT. I'm, I'm just not feeling good about our chances. We got a 2 1 game. No goal against. Uh, heading into the third period with our 2 1 lead. We're gonna try to keep that lead. All right, good things coming. Let's keep it rolling in period number three. Okay, you know what? I'm on a mission right now. Rusty is going coast to coast right now. Cue the epic music. Bam, 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 bam. Here comes Rusty. The wheels. The toe drag. Okay. Uh, I mean, that was that was kind of epic. Something. Unfortunately, uh, one length of the ice for Rusty, and I'm already, like, completely dead. We have to get off the ice. <laughs> okay. I think I just went to the bench for four seconds uh can, can we roll the replay back on the time there i'm pretty sure that that was a three second bench sim and now i am back to having zero energy and i'm back to the bench yet again i don't know what's going on here dude okay i mean coach has given us the minutes uh no doubt about it the bad news is i just i don't have any energy and then i get out there i get bumped one time and i have to go right back to the bench what a pass okay here's rusty uh, I'm going to try to find Corrali back door, but we may have to do a little spin-out to get there. Nice move there, Rust. Between the legs! I mean, that that might be the most unnecessary shot I've ever taken. That was that was something. Dude, coach is trying to get me injured. I have literally no bar. It's not a red bar. I have no bar. And he's leaving me on the ice, dude. I'm getting off the ice, coach. All right, we have to be smart here with your future franchise center. Also, at the beginning of this year, I set my position as center. I have not played an ounce of center. I don't even think I've taken a face off this. <gasps> oh, I tried to wind that up. I saw that thing go together. Nice shot text. If we can get this puck, we'll get full pressure, but I don't think we're going to. Nice save there by Elvis. We'll let him cover it up. Again, I mean, I'm fine with going to the bench for 30 seconds, going back out. Like, I'll, I'll take that. It just doesn't feel like we can really get any. Or uh, coach is going to leave us on the ice with zero energy yet again. Can we not admit that this is at least a little bit insane? Forcing your young guys to play through this this much adversity having zero energy whatsoever but you know what rusty lived up to the hype dude you gotta bury that mid slot wide open zero energy i put my life on the line for this team and he doesn't bury it okay 10 minutes left here in the third period we make it to six minutes left we still have our 2-1 lead oh if we win two to one this is a miracle okay johnny with another weird self pass rusty Takes a hit, makes a play, and gets the puck to the net. I mean, wasn't pretty, but we got it to the net. Okay, if we can just kill off the next couple minutes, they will be getting the empty netter going. We get Rusty out there. We score the empty netter goal. We call it a game and keep this win streak alive. Hey, we'll take another power play. Dude, these guys are so undisciplined. It's every single play they're getting a penalty. We're going to head to the bench. Then we'll get back out there. Then we'll score our goal. Call it a day. The only thing that could ruin this game is a shorthanded goal against, and it wouldn't... Boquist with the big power play goal. 3-1 hockey game. They should be pulling their goalie here on this rush. I'm going to let him get up the ice a little. We'll take Caulfield out of this play. Sit down, Caulfield. There's the empty net. Okay. Um, You know, interesting dump to the corner on... Dude, he's literally facing me with his stick. I'm just like, oh, quick stick lift. Take it to the net. Instead, with the whole stick there, we aim directly for his gloves. The net is still empty, but unfortunately, we can't be the one to score it. I'm going to watch the last 27 seconds just to see if anything crazy happens. You never know with this game. 20 seconds on the clock. Let's get this puck down. Okay, instead, we pass it to them directly behind the net. Okay, no, no goals against. Let's, let's play for Elvis here. Five seconds on the clock. No goals against. Still can't get it out of the zone, though. Three, 
two, one, and the Columbus Blue Jackets have held on. Johnny Hockey and Rostislav Nashrov leading the charge. Not our prettiest game, to be 100% honest with you. Not the prettiest lineup to make a push for the playoffs, but we're getting the job done. A six-game win streak going into the trade deadline, and we keep it rolling today. I'm not going to lie, I'm still a little bit disappointed in our management to not make a move, especially with the team that we have. We're in a playoff spot. Right now, we are in a playoff spot. So for us to go into it with the roster we have, no additions, no big names, no even just like role players that could help you in the playoffs, that's going to hurt us in the long run. But you know what? We're on a six-game winning streak. I can't complain. Let's keep this rolling and see how long we can get this to last. Next episode, we're going to make a big jump and get towards the end of the regular season. We'll see how how the placing is looking and see if we need to step in and finish some games to end the regular season and if all goes well we will have a playoff spot and a chance at the stanley cup also look at us 70 overall for rostislav nashrov i never thought i would see the day apologies for a bit of a weird trade deadline video i was expecting some bigger and better moves but you know what this is the team we got we're keeping it going forward we'll see what happens if you did enjoy this episode hit it with a like hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 1 milli and i'll see you guys next time peace